Hey, what's up guys? My name is Gene of Jax, tuning in on this channel, we talk tech. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing to stay up to date when I drop new videos every week. Now, in today's video, uh, this is gonna be just a quick video about my first impressions of the Z Fold. So I was able to pick up the Samsung Z Fold and I've got some initial thoughts about it just out of the box. So last week, if you guys checked my last video, um, I originally had planned to review uh, this phone first. Um, so I did buy the Z, the Z Fold, the Z Flip, and the S21 Ultra. And I have to say that all three phones were like amazing. Like there's definitely a different experience, especially coming from an Apple user like myself. Uh, I was actually able to get the Z Fold finally. Um, and uh, my first impression of it was actually, it's it's definitely a compelling, uh, compelling device. What's easily compelling about the device is the form factor, just the form factor and that flip functionality. To be able to have a tablet and a phone packed in one is like next level like i really didn't think about it until i actually had the phone i did buy this phone on launch day when it came out and i ended up paying about 17.99 for it plus tax came out to a little over 1900 dollars. but price aside you know when you think about it an average tablet or an apple tablet would cost you anywhere between six and eight hundred dollars and when you think of buying a new iPhone, that iPhone's costing you anywhere from, we'll say eight to $1,200. So I thought it was actually a pretty good, pretty good consolation, uh, more or less. Uh, and I gotta say like, right away, I was immediately impressed. I've used this phone for a couple of days now and you know, I don't have all the specs uh, yet. I haven't looked up all the specs yet, but I didn't think I'd like it this much. I know that there were other iterations of this type of uh, this type of design, but I didn't think I'd like it as much. Now this phone does come with USB type C, which is like a, a bonus. Um, it also does have um, a fingerprint scanner on the right side. Um, now, whatever this is, it's like a, like a very high quality, I don't wanna say plastic, but it's a very high quality material. What I will also say is that if you do consider buying this phone, please buy yourself a case for this phone. I can't tell you enough how I wish that there was options available at Best Buy to be able to buy it, but I definitely, definitely, if, if there's one thing you take away from this video is definitely buy a case for it. And um, and, and that's pretty much it. Like my, oh, my, overall, uh, my overall experiences with this phone has been actually pretty good. Um, Again, the form factor is amazing. I like the fact that I'm able to grip it one-handed like this and be able to like, you know, obviously get through the phone, you know, consume media, etc. I will also say one other thing. I feel like I, I keep saying, I will also say one other thing. Being able to have that larger screen is clutch. Like, could you imagine? Like literally I'm sitting here and I can literally like run through, like run through my apps. Um, one thing that my brother actually told me about this that I didn't think I'd like, and I really wish that they put it on the uh, on an Apple device, is split screen. I really, really wish that Apple can figure that out, especially on their iPhone. I think that's the one feature that I was like blown away by, and everything else is great. The 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 <clears throat> now in comparison to my iPhone, I'll do a comparison video maybe uh, later on this week. But literally, here's here's the the size difference. So. Just wanna make sure I'm in frame. So literally here's the size difference. And then if you ever, if I ever need to go into, um, into regular phone mode, I just close it up. This is legit. This is legit a great concept. Um, <clears throat> I actually can't wait for the next version, next iteration, cause like, just like the flip, I feel like there's so much that you can actually do with this phone. And there's so much, like the possibilities are endless. Like you can literally on the back here, if they wanted to, they could have implemented like a similar MagSafe uh, type of deal and actually put another screen back here. You could expand on the camera on the back here. On the front side of the screen, um, there's just so much that they can actually do on the front side of the screen. Let's see if it zooms in. On the front side of the screen, you can actually, if this were maybe a half an inch wider, I'd still be fine with it. Because now you're truly getting like a, a, full, uh, well, a fuller experience. Now, <clears throat> again, it's, these are just my initial thoughts. Uh, I didn't really have a, a video plan for this week. I did miss you guys last week and I see that I gained some new subscribers. So I uh, just wanna thank you guys who are new to my channel. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and I'll have more on this phone later on. Uh, I haven't really tested out the camera. I mean, I have, but not, not, not in the way that I wanted to. Um, aside from that, 
it's it's been great oh and one other thing oh, i keep saying one other thing one more thing powder of komodo dragon tooth one more thing picture of tortoise shell one more thing castanets the symbol of cao kung chu i love the fact that the that the imei number or the device number is on the back of it because sometimes when you go to get your phone checked out, that's what they always ask for. But the fact that the information's on the back is clutch. Now, I could also see them maybe <clears throat> maybe doing this in such a way that it's engraved, uh, so um, so it's not e easily wipe off. Like you can't easily wipe it off. So that's another kind of a, another another great feature of this phone. But yeah, man, this phone is easily. Um, easily one of the best if not one of the best phones out right now i definitely understand why i could see i could definitely see myself um using this a lot more i think this is the one phone i would consider jumping to if i decided to move out of the apple ecosystem there's a reason why i stay with apple it's been a while with samsung so we're just gonna leave it like that it's been a while but samsung did a fantastic job with this i like i said i could definitely see where they could make certain improvements um, but this is easily one of my favorite phones right now. A little pricey, I think, you know, at, especially at $17.99. I can see how this would be very great in, you know, in a tandem with, you know, the Samsung Tab and 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 some other Samsung devices out there like the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. Um, but yeah, so overall, I'm really impressed. Um, my initial reactions were like, wow, I really wish I would have been able to drop this video about a week ago. But, um, you know. Uh, things do happen and uh, it, you know it is what it is but that's the video guys just want to thank you again for watching um definitely leave your comments down below i would definitely like to know what you guys think of this phone definitely let me know if you uh, you have it if you are looking to buy it and what are some reasons why you're not considering buying it it is pricey but i have to say that it's definitely well worth um the money this phone is literally the only phone of its kind out right now and um, i mean that's the only way, way i would support paying that much uh, but definitely a compelling device but like i said guys uh, please consider subscribing if you're new to my channel leave your comments down below thank you for watching and until my next video peace